I'm Nando Rodriguez, your breakthrough coach. And today it's all about minorities, entrepreneurs, imposter syndrome, and conquering it. Because if you didn't know, now you do. If you identify as a minority, woman, black, LGBTQIA, Asian, Latinx, or maybe you're a combo like me, and you're also an entrepreneur, you might have felt that little tinge of imposter syndrome. It's a rather simple phrase steeped in complexity because there's no one thing contributing to it. It's There's nothing that we can point to that's causing your specific case of imposter syndrome. It could be your history, how you identify, your experience, your education, your background, a combination of those things, something totally hidden in your subconscious, a blind spot. In this video, I'll discuss one aspect that minority entrepreneurs experience inside of imposter syndrome and how they can conquer it. Like totally smash it, okay? But you gotta say to the end, no cheating. And before I go on, if you're interested in the entire world of imposter syndrome, I wanna share with you the comprehensive resource guide my team and I created. It's packed with insights, tips, and ways to conquer imposter syndrome. And you can only get it if you sign up below or leave a comment declaring, Nando, I'm interested and I'll make sure that you get it. It's over 40 pages of everything you ever needed to know about imposter syndrome with examples of people sharing how it's affected them. And I've also included the five different types of imposter syndrome categories that exist. I bet you didn't know that one. I know you're so curious now to see which one of the five you are. And also there's a quiz in there, right? So you know what score you're at in imposter syndrome and it's all for free. So just go download it, right? So go right now, download the resource guide. I'll wait for you. One aspect of how minority entrepreneurs face imposter syndrome is having thoughts of feeling like outsiders or I don't belong or a version of it. Consider that the thought of feeling like an outsider or I don't belong is related to not separate from I'm not something enough. Okay, so fill in the blank, whether it's I'm not sexy enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not thin enough. And my personal favorite that I held on to for the longest time was I'm not smart enough. One research study done explained that underrepresented groups in society can feel like outsiders of mainstream culture. Since these individuals are more subject to imposter syndrome, it's possible that they manifest an impact of this phenomenon in their career development. What does this mean? It means whichever one of the I'm not enough statements you land on, it can create a negative impact on your entrepreneurial journey. And it also explains why your business isn't thriving or expanding. Listen, People who don't belong don't feel worthy in the position that they're in, like being the new boss or in the early stages of your entrepreneurship. And according to Dr. Tara Swart, she's a neuroscientist, she claims that feeling like you don't belong creates an inferiority complex, but more commonly known as imposter syndrome. Ta-da! I've been talking about this for the longest time. And now there's neuroscience to back it up. She also says that you want to consider the one factor that triggers all of this is underestimating the sense of belonging. And it makes sense. If the problem is you feel like you don't belong, the solution is feeling like you belong. Because see, being a part of a bigger collective than just your lone wolf self feels great. And let's be honest, several of you lone wolves out there are wearing every single hat in your business, marketer, social media, customer service manager, you're doing it all. And it's physically and mentally exhausting. And because we come from tribes, the lone wolf mentality is not cutting it anymore. It's important to be part of a group. And in the past, it was about the physical safety of being in a group. Like someone would be standing guard looking for the dinosaur to attack. There's poor Larry hiding in the bushes, not roasting his gluten-free marshmallow with the rest of the clan because he was the one on duty. So probably the cavemen were also feeling like, hey, I don't belong. Why am I the one not roasting my marshmallow? But today it's more about the emotional connection. See, feeling like you're connected to others, especially if you're an entrepreneur, is important because you can spend so much time alone and in your head. 
Yeah, social media provides access to meeting new people, spreading your ideas and learning new things without having to leave the comfort of your rusty desk chair. But consider that it's the actual connecting with another human in person, on video or on the phone, not just words on a monitor or screen that makes the difference. Having that human connection is vital. When I started my coaching career, I did it all alone too. I had to be lean, simple, and let's be honest, I didn't have capital to hire staff. It wasn't until I had a breakthrough in that lone wolf mentality that my business started to shift. I'm not kidding you. My business transformed when I started having conversations with other entrepreneurs, discussing my highs, my lows, my wins, my defeats. I felt like I wasn't alone anymore. I felt like, ah, finally. People out there get me. Maybe I do belong in the entrepreneur world after all. And then I took it a step further and I started to get collaborators to assist me in new products and services. They weren't being paid. They wanted to contribute. And I'm like, okay, who am I to say no? So the lone wolf died a lonely death that year. So before we go on any further, I have to ask you, who are my lone wolves in the tribe right now? Let me know in the comments below. Just type in lone wolf. As a minority, like me, you may have been taught to keep your problems to yourself. You also may have been taught toxic positivity, where it's like, you don't have any problems, just be grateful for what you have. Well, if you aren't making the income you know you deserve, there is a problem. And if you aren't creating that impact with your product, service, or business, then there's a gap. And the gap could be you feel like an outsider or that you don't belong. Your identity is at question and it feels not good, which leads me to today's Nandoism. The value of identity is, of course, is that so often it comes with purpose. As an entrepreneur inside a minority collective, when you feel like you don't belong, it has you trapped inside of the thought of, what am I doing wrong? And when your business is not thriving, you start to compare yourself and your efforts to your competitors. And then you base everything on that, your worth. And then that tricks you into thinking you have a low sense of purpose. And then that triggers the anxiety loop, okay? And I did a video on that. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out after this one. Here's the goal. This is how you conquer imposter syndrome as someone inside an underrepresented group. Create your tribe. Start reaching out to people, entrepreneurs just like you to crack open the conversation and share. Be vulnerable, be authentic in what you're struggling with. Someone has to start the conversation. Why not you? I get a lot of pushback in this area when I tell my coaches to do this. And I get like, well, I was vulnerable and they weren't, so I'm not going to do this anymore. People are scared. They're scared to be discovered as frauds or fakes. That's a classic imposter syndrome trait. If you provide that safe space where you're like, it's okay, I'm going to keep sharing. I'm going to keep looking for my tribe. You're going to see that shift in your efforts instantly. I guarantee it. And own your space. Claim it. You belong here with the rest of us, thriving and shining and making an impact on the planet with your business, your product, and your service. So let's take a moment here and tell me, what's opening up for you? What are you discovering? Leave it in the comments. I'm so curious to know. If this video made a difference for you, you discovered something, learned something new about yourself, share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you know when the next one is out. And talking about creating your tribe, if you're interested in creating a breakthrough in your business because you know you have an amazing idea, product, or service, but there hasn't been any movement in paid clients, funding, or you're not able to close deals, I'm launching a new course and I'm only taking 15 entrepreneurs possibly a new tribe for you on this live journey with me. I will be there guiding you so deep in the trenches, discovering blind spots, cheering you on, but also triggering you and confronting you on your old habits. It's not going to be a cakewalk. It's just not. And if you're interested in the details, fill out the coaching application and someone from my team will be in touch within 48 hours. But hold on before you do, you really have to be ready. You really want to create that shift because your application will be under review because honestly, I'm not a match for everyone. My past and current clients will tell you I'm awesome as a coach, 
but I also don't let you off the hook. You got to do real work to see real results. So consider you, me, your new tribe, getting to the bottom of what precisely are the obstacles keeping your business from moving forward. I'm Nando Rodriguez, your breakthrough coach. And remember, I'm here empowering you to create unlimited impact, influence, and income.